I would like to request a 10 minute break. What? Yes, yes. What? Objection! Bullshit, your honor! No way! The witness is confused because he's lying! I empathet- huh? Empathically? 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 What the fuck? Huh? Empathically? Empathically? Is it empathically? It must be empathically. I empathically request that there be no breaks, your honor. Yeah! We want justice! Rubble, 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 rubble! They took our jobs! Don't let them get away! September 9th at 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant's Lobby Number 1. Well, I guess this is it! Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Da! Phoenix, look! <gasps> Ed Edgeworth! Prosecutor Edgeworth? I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's Office yesterday. Huh? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I huh? If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty? End of story? I don't think Edgeworth thinks that I'm guilty, right? And Edgeworth in the end, I don't think that he's actually a bad guy. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. Dun, dun, dun. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. He doesn't believe in his words. Look, he's like, he's telling me this, but he's like, like, not looking in my eyes. He's like, mm. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, what happened to you? You've, ch you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Th -th Phoenix! Well, court will be starting soon. Well, what? But, but wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet! They're not... I'll be defending myself! What? Okay, let's do this! That's crazy. Hedgeworth has a crisis in faith. Yes, he does. Rubber, 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 rubber. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up? You're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Hmm, understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the events are already quite clear to the court, today we'll, we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. Hmm, I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask... ask uh, la, la, la. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm... If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Uh, well, I guess it, it doesn't matter. Even if I raise an objection, the judge will just be overruled. Forget it. I smell a trap. I would like to call Mr. Ren White to the stand. Ching. Please state your full name. Oh, you wish to know the title the title of my personage. <laughs> uh your name. Yes. 
That is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name! These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? <laughs> that would be a negatory. No, no, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? <coughs> Why tell you what you already know? Hmm, very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Oh, yeah. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? <laughs> I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Noya. Let him have it, Phoenix! Witness testimony. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was quietly perusing, uh, uh, that's reading to you some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking the women with long hair. Needless to say, the man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. What do you mean it was me? It wasn't me. The victim. She ran. She ran away. But you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you're, you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well. Defendant, or uh, I mean, Mr. Wright, your cross is in. Oh, I thought he was going to say that I'm guilty. Oh, guilty. <laughs> Case closed. Yes, your honor. Oh. Hold it. How do you know what time it was? Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know? Dude, no, 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 no. You're not getting away with that. <laughs> you are so mistrusting, Miss Lawyer. Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> so, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May, the big boobed lady, ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said too. Should I press further? No, I really, I, I don't need to, right? Yeah. Nah, it's fine. I don't see anything to gain by attacking him on this point any further. Okay, what were you doing at the time? I was quietly perusing uh, that reading to you some papers by the window. Oh, maybe I can... Uh, I don't think it matters what he's been reading, but let's see. Hold it! By window, you mean the one directly across the Fane Cola offices? Correct. That is the only window you see. And there you were reading... papers? Correct! The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy man who had business to do. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside, which is the, the bellboy. A bed... a bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. Hmm, we see. Continue. And that's my boyfriend. Well, my future boyfriend. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. Hold it! So you were reading our papers until you heard that sound? But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of windows at night. No snoop? Yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. Oh yeah, and basically this guy has like a, a spy, a spy business, and he collects information about like very high up people, 
and then he uses that, that information to blackmail them. So he's he's like a, a piece of work. Oh, let me just do something really quickly. There you go. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Hold it! Hold it! Spiky hair? That's me! Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. Hold it again! What he just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. <laughs> I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? <laughs> Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. Hmm. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. <laughs> no shit. No shit, judge. Hey, whose side is this judge on anyway? And what did you do then? Hmm. <laughs> I called Miss May over that one. She too was surprised, of course. Hold it! What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Huh? Weeping? That's not true. We know that that's not true because Miss May, at that time, she was talking with the bellboy. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Oh. Come on. Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. <laughs> I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this fay woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. <laughs> I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Dude, are you French? Are you Spanish? Like, what are you, dude? Please continue! The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Hold it! Can you be a little more detail about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course! Comprende! I understand! The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Oh! She didn't run to the left. She ran to... well his left I guess but she didn't run to his left she ran to her right so I think this is it maybe I can ask him to add this statement to to the testimony you give chase and struck her down are you sure oh I think Edward is on our side hmm as you know I am always absolutely perfect hmm Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. This is it. I, I knew it. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Well, th th there you go. We, we got him. We got him. Well, uh, we got him? Yeah, we got him. Die from a blow by a blunt. No, not, not this. The victim dodged the attack and ran to the right. Well, well that was easy. What an idiot. <laughs> well. Objection! Objection! Right, right there, you criminal scum. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave! What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. Hmm. She clearly stated that the victim ran right! <laughs> it is simple. You have misheard her. Nope! I think not, you little asshole! Look at the floor plans! The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Duh! V -v Very strange. I, I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix! Look at his face! I don't think he's lying about this one. Hmm, true. Maybe he really did see the victim run left? So he did witness the killing. Uh, of course, because he's the one who did it, right? In order for him to see her dodge to the left, he had to be in front of her. He, he, he had to be looking at her and not looking from the window. So he's incriminating himself at the moment. 
Wait a second. And look, and right just... Mr. Right? Yes, Your Honor? Miss May say right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Of course. Because... Mr. White is right, Miss May is right, both are right. Because we know that Miss May was at the hotel room, right? So she... So she saw her go to her right, right? But Mr. Right, but Mr. White, I mean, he he saw him go. Wait, to the left. Wait, I, I'm not good with, with information, with with directions. But they are both right. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. <laughs> uh, I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that will explain their comforting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel! Rebel, 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 rebel! Mr. Wright! What do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? <laughs> in the law offices of Fane Co., of course. Rebel, 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 rebel. More specifically, he was standing here. He was the killer. Time to show the court where Mr. White really was. Right here. Uh, present. Take that. Take that! This is where he was. Look! When the victim ran, ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please! This is no time for jokes and ill taste! That is where the killer was standing! No shit, Edgeworth! Dude, like, duh! That's what I'm trying to prove! ORDER! I WILL HAVE ORDER! Anyone disturbing this ORDER of this courtroom will be held in contempt! Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Repscalion! Wait! Repscalion! Repscalion! Objection, Your Honor! The postulation of the defense are distortion of the truth, Your Honor! Indeed! They do seem a bit far-fetched! <laughs> you provide us with no mu so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer! What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something! It appears I have been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, <laughs> Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Hmm, very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Ah, good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Uh, well, he can. He, he can just, like, invent another lie. And since he has the judge bought out, like, the judge will just say, mm, okay, try again, try again. And until we finally can't prove anything. Uh, so she ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran <laughs> to the left. But then you hit her savagely. This is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. Okay, I already know that this is bullshit, because the autopsy report said that he died instantly, I remember that. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Nope. Uh-uh. That's not true at all. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Bullshit! I'm not even going to try to hold anything of what, what he says. I'm just going ex like straight to the proof that he's lying. Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness testimony? You bet I will. I mean, uh, sorry, Your Honor, yes. Cross-examination. You know what, I'll say hold it a few times just for to see what he says. Miss My testimony was correct, so it was mine. Hold it! What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean? Phoenix, you just said it. <laughs> that is what I am about to explain. You Americans are always so impatient. It does not become you. Hey, buddy, you're an American too. No, he's not. He's French. 
When you assaulted the girl, she ran to the left. Hold it! What do you mean first? First? What? 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 That is what comes before what happens next. Do you speak in You do speak English, right? Please sit back, relax. I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First, she ran to the left, and then, and then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Hold it! Hold it! I didn't hit anyone. I didn't do it. I didn't. Now, now, Mister Mister Wright, there is no point in hiding things from this school. I'm not hiding anything. Objection! The prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Oh, jeez. Why is he mad at me? Is Edward the judge now? Uh, next, with the last of his strength, she ran to the right. Okay, this is the statement that he's saying that I have the proof to, that contradicts it. So, I'm just gonna do it right now. Which is the autopsy report. Die from one blow by a blunt object. May have oh may have lit for a few minutes. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Never mind. Um. Oh shit. <laughs> hmm. Well now. Ah. Uh, I know. Well, let's hold it. Let's see what he says. What do you mean next? Oh my god, right, you idiot. Next. It's what comes after first. <laughs> I know that. Then that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. You chased her and delivered a final blow. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Th that evidence actually proves because it was just one blow. Right? It's just one blow. She may have lived for a few minutes, but I didn't, like, no one hit her twice. People only hit her once. So I can actually contradict this. I think. Let's see. Objection! Objection! Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow! Duh. What do you have to say to that? <laughs> Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told the court you were absolutely, <clears throat> I mean, absolutely perfect? <clears throat> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if I could ask the witness for a new testimony. Objection! The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. What? Yes, yes? What? Objection! Bullshit, your honor! No way! The witness is confused because he's lying! I empathet- huh? Empathically? 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 What the fuck? Huh? Empathically? Empathically? Is it empathically? It must be empathically. I empathically request that there be no breaks, your honor! Yeah! We want justice! Rubble, 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 rubble! They took our jobs! Don't let them get away! Hmm, very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. This guy doesn't have big boobs like the uh, th like the last girl. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White? Uh, uh, Zuki! Uh. Why, why would the judge allow this? This guy has, has been lying. He lied. Three times now, we've proved that this guy has lied three times, and the, the judge is like, Well, try again! Okay, the two accounts. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, uh, the moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left, the killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. <laughs> mm, and then, uh, she, she, she turned and ran f for the, the door. Then you did her in with a single blow to her. Um. Hmm. Twopped indeed. The boys are back in town. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Lobs. Holy shit. Six months? 
Damn, holy fuck. Damn, I need to say that Morrowind is a trash game more often. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Lobster. I love Morrowind. I really do love Morrowind, but it's a trash game. Just so you know. <laughs> that's my that's my thank you <laughs> for the sub. Your favorite game is trash. <laughs> but I love it. Don't worry, man. It's trash, but I love it. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, uh, my stomach. <laughs> I need to go sick. This shit. You see, it, it, it is hurting. Uh, deal with it. Shut your pants. This is almost over. Uh, <laughs> They're my friend, so I'm not going to find where... Uh? So I'm not going to find where you I've and steal all your cats. Where you lived and steal all your cats. You know, it, it's much easier when you, mis when you mistype boobs. Like, it's much easier for my brain to detect what you're trying to say. But I, I got it. I got it still. Uh, the two accounts. Okay. Mm, okay. But before I even do anything, I'm thinking of something. Died from a blow by a blunt object. Uh, it, it doesn't say if, it, if the blow was, like, to the back of the head or to the front of the head. So I can't really use this. Wait, but it's, it's impossible. He's saying that the victim ran towards the door. And if the victim ran towards the door, then it would be impossible for the victim to be, like, close to the window. Right? I don't think that's possible. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, so, well, you see, I look at the other window. Okay. Hold it! You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Uh huh, that? Um, is a glass? This a glass lights then? Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Uh. You know what? I'm gonna say yes. Just. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White! Huh? Zizi what? You're saying you saw a glass light stand. Oh, he can't see it. He can't see it from the window. Zizi, yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Zizi, sorry, my dad. <laughs> the witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. <laughs> a light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Okay, so let me, I uh, know, let me see. Yeah, there you go. He can't see the light stand because the light stand was at the left of the window. And whenever the light stand fell, he, he wouldn't be able to see it. He's full of shit, as always. Well, I'm not even going to hold anything back. Uh, Objection! Objection! Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? You are a fucking idiot. And you know what's more funny about this? It's because, like, Mr. White, we had no proof that Mr. White did it, but Mr. White just decided to go to the courtroom just, like, to, to put the blame on us. He was like, ha -ha, I am going to testify in the courtroom tomorrow. Like, we, we didn't have, how do I say it, like, the, the power to get him on the courtroom. It would be impossible. We didn't have... We didn't have any evidence that he was the one that was with Miss May. We, we had nothing. The only reason that this guy is getting fucked up, he, it's because he was so full of, of himself, and he thought it was so impossible for us to call on his bullshit, that he's just like, I will go to the courtroom, I will testify, and you will be guilty. And now he's getting fucked. He's, what an idiot. There is this thing with, with our Brian. If the first and the last letters in the word are spelled correctly... Oh, the Brian, the brain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, our words are spelled correctly. The other letters are misplaced. We would still recognize the word. This is true. And the proof is that I, I'm recognizing your, the way that you're spelling your bad words. Did I read that, that sentence? I don't think I did. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? <laughs> Correct, your honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office... 
this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White. What do you have to say to that? Ridiculousity! <laughs> Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewire Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Faylor offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Is that it? This is way too easy. That can't be it, right? I think he's gonna transform. Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Monsieur, your honor. I, I, Miss Mia. Huh? Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! What? That's far enough, Phoenix, right? Da, what? What the hell? What, what is he gonna say? Ew, I forgot about Edward. <laughs> Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crimes now? Hmm. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> I said you should confess your crime. Or go. <laughs> confess that you placed the wiretap. Oh my god, really? Edward's gonna try to say that he was the one who wiretapped? Oh, oh my god, alright. The, the, the wiretap? Rubber, 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 rubber. Oh, God. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. One is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. You, yeah, I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Mrs. Fay. But what does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't! <laughs> Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you enter Mrs. Fay's office. Am I correct? <laughs> Mm hmm? Oh, correct! You are most correct, Miles! Give me a fucking break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the faint call offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. Rubber, 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 rubber! Now I'm confused! <laughs> Please explain to the court what this all means, Mr. Edward. Uh, Edward. Gladly, Your Honor! Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass and was in his in the, uh, was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. Hmm, I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. Erko, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is! Rubber, 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 rubber. What a, what bullshit. But it's still a crime. Okay, he's trying to prove that Mr. White didn't commit the crime, that he only put put the wiretap on her phone, but that's still a crime. So now what I think we need to do is, like, find, like, the reason for him to wiretap her phone and try to, like, connect that reason for him wanting, wanting to kill her. 
I guess that's what we gotta do now. But let's see. Mr. White! You will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem. <laughs> Leave it to me. I I feel faint too. Witness testimony, the wiretapping. Let's see. It was the beginning of September, this week before the murder. I had entered the Fiend Call Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place a wiretap. That is when I saw this light stand. <laughs> That's it? Hmm. <laughs> so, you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over? By the sound? <laughs> oh, correct. That is right. Hmm, I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Yeah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix! <laughs> Thanks, Maya. Thank you so much. The wiretapping. I, I actually don't know what to... What to grab from this. I guess I'll just have to press him. It was the beginning of the September of the week before the murder. Alright, hold it! Did it, do you have proof? Objection. That's not his job, right? That's your job. Miss April May knew the details of Mrs. Fay's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Oh, that's also true. Okay, that, okay. Oh, right. I entered the Fay and Cole law offices. Hold it! I don't know why I'm holding it, but hold it! Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Uh, unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fane Co's law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. Oh. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to Fane Co law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wire tap. Hold it! Hold it! Okay, this, we have to ask why. Why did you tap me his phone? Objection. What the fuck? This has no bearing on the current case, your honor. Yes, it does. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I saw the glass light sent. Shit, we didn't get anything from that. Hold it! Hold it! Why did you notice something as innocuous as, as a light stand? The light stain was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess I made the last impression on me. Such a beautiful thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it! There's nothing there for me to press on. Oh well, maybe he's well enough that I can bluff something out of him. Um. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fane Coast Law Office. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Yeah, there's, there's nothing we can, we can use. We don't have any evidence to contradict anything that he is saying. Well, no, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. <laughs> I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. Uh, no more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Uh. Yes, your- What? Y yes, your honor. Phoenix! Wait, Phoenix, what? Phoenix, over here! Who's this? I know that voice! Mamma Mia? What? Huh? Never give up, Phoenix! What the hell? Mamma Mia! You're supposed to be dead! What? Where? Where? Where am I? I just fainted. Ugh! The waiting lobby? What happened? 
Oh, right. I lost the tri- What? <laughs> I was hallucinating. Dude, if you lost the trial, then you'd be in jail because he's accusing you. What is going on? What? She's supposed to be dead. She's like... The <laughs> She's the victim of this murder case. What? Is How is she here? Ah, you're finally awake. Gah! What the fuck? I, I think I fainted again. Hey, Phoenix! Gah! Gak? What? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Huh? Y you're... M -m -m Maya? Didn't you know the Fey woman have strong physic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true power. So Maya is channeling you! Oh, so that's what's going on. Dude, I was like, what the hell is with this? That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. But wait a minute, that doesn't explain the... Like, the giant boobs! What? Her body, like, transforms? What? Dude, this is like... Another level of jailbait. What the hell? <laughs> now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? I did? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! The receipt! The one you wrote my on! Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. Oh! So, so, what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? Wow. <laughs> Phoenix ne never thought about looking like what the receipt is actually for. It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One million! Wow, big spender! Wait, not one million, it's 1k. Item gla glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. That feels like cheating. Spirit boobs technique. <laughs> September 4th! That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in the testimony? He said that it was like at the beginning of September. So like, the week before the murder. Alright. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. A week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know, you know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right! Receive the data in the court record. Good. Thanks, boobies. I, I mean, thanks, Mia. I'm sorry. Here we go. We're gonna prove him. Rapper. Look, look at her! She still has big boobs. Nice. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant, uh, rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? Hey, yes, yeah, sorry, Your Honor. Gee, I'm fine now. Hmm, then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm! Your Honor! Please, give me one more chance! <laughs> one more chance, of course! I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm! But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Phoenix Wright his last chance. Hmm, very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Here we go, the wiretapping. I know exactly what I need to press him on. The begin- it's- oh, right, right at the beginning. OBJECTION! Look closely at this! See the word Maya written in blood? 
<laughs> You're grasping. Shut up, Edgeworth. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the, the other side. Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I can't read. You have to do it for me. Well, a glass lampstand. And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. Uh, uh. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly enter Fane Co. Law Office at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. <laughs> Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, this is impossible achievable. What? What? Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. <gasps> Very well. Really? Then that is all for the trial of... Objection! Ah, it had to be. Objection, your honor. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Man, what the... What? No way! He... Can he worm his way out of this one? Oh, wait, I forgot! It's Edgeworth. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's like he's reading my mind. Yes, it's me. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. What? What do you mean? Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? What? This is going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. I guess I should object. 100%. OBJECTION! Mr. White's guilty! Guilt is obvious! There is no need to prolong this trial any further! Hmm... Well, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> if anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm... I see! Objection denied! What? God damn it! Does this mean another day of investigation? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. Oh no, that, but tomorrow's gonna be the last day. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edward is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Mr. Yona! May I go home? Of course! Thank you for your time! Yeah! The witness will stay. M -m -m mia Phoenix, read this note out loud. M mia What's this? More cheating? A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may? You are quite persistent today, Mr. Wright! Jesus Christ! You bet I am! My life is riding on this one! I have something I would like to read to the court! A list of people's names, Mia's handwriting! Take that! The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance. Famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Baby, please stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get at least? Mr. White, admit, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. <laughs> I... I confess. I... I did it. I hit Miss Mia with... The Thinker. Holy shit. Case closed, your honor. That's crazy. 
So these names, like if if she releases these names, the outcome would be even worse than go to jail for like a bunch of years. Holy shit, well... That didn't feel like... <laughs> Edward's like... Fuck, what the... How can you just confess like that? What the fuck is going on? After all I've been through and now you just confess, you fucking idiot. I want my money, you're gonna pay me either way, you fool. Hmm, well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. You've done it again? That was quite a spirit of defense. Yeah, yes, your honor, of course. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. I basically won this court because this trial because of magic. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem. <clears throat> Rather, the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Woo! We did it. We did it, chat. We fucking did it. That is all. This court is adjourned. We fucking did it. Another case closed. It was all all of that was me cheating, but whatever. A win is a win. But the boobies! <clears throat> Sorry. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. You're lucky I was born a Thay. It's true. Oh, I'm lucky I I had both you and my on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it was... I, I won't forget it as long as I live. You're already dead. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. Whoa, what? No! There's still so much to say! I love you! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch -ch chief <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. What do you mean? Chief! Mia! Boobies! Wait up! No, don't go! September 9, 9, 2 p.m. I'm gonna be the boss now. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. I'm gonna assume that it's me. It's Maya. You came! Mia! I was kinda worried you might not... Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about the burger? <laughs> Mama Mia? No, it's a sister, you fool. Bah! <laughs> you should see your face! Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! M -m -m Maya? No, you don't have big boobs. What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were your sister. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of, huh? You're gonna be my maid? She means the office, this office. Someone has to help with the new ride and color offices, right? And who better beat me? Maya Faye, we're party for duty. Wait, no, on second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? Hmm. You know what this name means? Huh? You know what this means? We're partners. I guess. Wait. So now I'm the boss, and now she works for me as my maid? You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in Cole Law Offices. It's a, it's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Oh. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here watching. <laughs> Mia! Great! Okay, Nick, let's do it! Huh? D -d do what? Burgers, Demi! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street! <laughs> Come on! Time's a-wasting! 
Uh, okay, wait up! I have a feeling that in, in the original translation, it wasn't burgers, it was probably like, I don't know, dumplings or something, or maybe ramen. Achievement! Damn, a brand new episode has been added. Cool.